Welcome to the official Monster Hobbies YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at Monogram's 1992 Mustang GT Convertible. This is a great skill level 2 kit for all you Mustang fans out there. And now, I want to tell you about a great channel at the end of the video. It's called the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage. So stay tuned to check that out if you love model cars and want to learn tips and techs and all the rest. So without further ado, let's go down to the bench and take the lid off our great Mustang model kit. Now today we're going all the way back to 1992 as we take a look at this Monogram Mustang GT Convertible Kit. Again, another wonderful model. This is a skill level 2 kit in 124th scale, so it'll blend in perfectly with all your 124th scale model kits. Again, look at how wonderful this is. White body, red interior, red pinstriping, and excellent Mustang mag wheels. This side of the box tells us all about the model kit features that we get. It says this dreamboat is a modern version of the famous Ford pony cars. Detailed 5.0 liter V8 engine with fuel injection, optional top up or down and luggage rack. Decals for added detail, molded in white and clear with plated parts and black vinyl tires. There's a front three quarter view and a rear three quarter. I wonder if this is the 5.0 that uh, Vanilla Ice is talking about. Ice, ice baby. Rolling in my 5.0. Now anyway, I'll spare you that. Okay, here's the interior. And uh, on this side of the box, we also have our nice five liter Mustang motor. Wait, collaborate and listen. Trevor is here on a brand new mission, opening up box lid to see what's inside. And yeah, let's check out this ride. Ice, ice baby. Okay, anyway, so there's, there goes my music career. All right, now here we have our instruction sheet, which Danny the dog will take a look at in a minute. We've got these wonderful tires. This we'll have to clip off the parts tree and uh, clean them up in the future. Then we've got our white plastic here with the red taillights in the bag as well. We've got our glass down below and then our awesome chrome parts tree. And there's our decals, which again, Danny the dog will reveal at the end of this video. Oh, Trevor, you messed up your verse. Well, I guess it pays to rehearse. Okay, anyway, um, We'll just uh, move along here and stop singing that crazy uh, Ice Ice Baby song. And uh, what we got right here is our 1992 Mustang GT convertible instruction sheet. So we'll just do the overhead dub mic and I will uh, show you what's inside the model kit. Now Monogram has included a really nice instruction sheet. It's very uh, straightforward and easy to understand. You've got all the symbols that we're going to be using to build our model, as well as this nice paint chart with the uh, letters that correspond with the part numbers and whatnot. Now we've got our right and left hand side engine block with the oil pan molded in place. You glue on an oil filter. You've got your right and left exhaust headers, a cylinder head, your rocker cover, your intake manifold, and the front engine cover. Our engine build continues in panel 2, where you put on the distributor cover, the oil filler cap, alternator, fan belt, pulley assembly, AC pump, and our fan. Then you drop that into the chassis, and then you attach up our exhaust manifold system. Now here we've got our front wheels going together. We got the front of the wheel, that's a chrome piece, going through our tire. And then you've got this retaining clip that you do not glue so that your wheels will go around. And then the backing clip. And that will all push together. This is the front left and right hand side tire. So now it's telling you to look for your directions on the rubber itself. And then put that onto your front suspension and drop that onto the chassis. Now panel 7 shows our rear axle assembly being glued in its place. And then we also have these horizontal rear shock absorbers which will attach on there. And now here in panel 8 we've got our rear tires going on. Same as the, with the fronts. And again, watch your directional rubber on there. And that's your tread pattern, of course. And then you also add in these rear shock absorbers as well. Panel 9 shows our radiator assembly going together. You've got the radiator itself and the radiator shroud. Glue them together, drop them on the front of your chassis. Panel 10 shows the upper radiator hose being dropped on top of the engine and going into our radiator shroud. And then in panel 11, we've got our dashboard. We've got our instrument cluster being glued on this side and our steering wheel pops onto that steering column. Panel 12 shows our bucket seats going together. You've got the front and the back, glue them together. 
make two of those and then move it across into your interior bucket and there you've got your dashboard being dropped into place in these grooves the shift lever goes into the center console there's an armrest which also pops in and then you put your seats in there panel 14 shows our front windshield being dropped in place and our rear view mirror there is this uh, brace in here which needs to be cut out that was a factory brace to stop the body from warping in the mold Panel 15 shows our interior tub being dropped into the uh, body shell and then you put in your brake master cylinder and that's in two halves and that drops inside your interior and then here we've got some decals which will go on to the top. We'll take a look at those at the end of the video. Panel 16 shows our completed chassis being put into the body of the car and then in panel 17 we've got these little driving lights which glue into the rear bumper. Panel 18 shows the front of the car being glued on and then you put in your headlights and you've got to paint these little side turn signals and whatnot before you actually install them. In panel 19 we get this two-piece air induction manifold and you got the one part going onto the inner fender well and then the other goes on top of the engine block. Panel 20 shows our rear spoiler being dropped down and glued on the trunk lid. You also have these braces which go on there and a brake light in the center and then our funky taillight lenses and our license plate. These are all louvered lenses which are really popular in the 90s. Panel 21 shows our hood installation and we have these nice decals which go up underneath here. Then you add in your side mirrors and your chrome mirror on there. Panel 22 shows the convertible top and it gets the rear window in the back. And on the back panel of our instructions, we get this wonderful write-up about the history of the 92 Mustang and how it evolved from the 64 to get up to this stage. There it shows our convertible up top being put on the body. And we've got these rear side tunnels which glue into place back here. Or you can build this with the convertible top down. And I'll let Trevor show you what the plastic parts look like right now. Thank you for that lead in Danny. So here we have our Mustang body and again this looks really wonderful. You got that nice grill in there with the windshield wipers. Up under the hood you've got the battery molded in and the shock towers and all the goodies. You've even got the front uh, hood brace which is also where the hood latch would be. Again look at the wonderful detail up on those door panels. This thing really looks like the great 1992 Mustang GT. And it even has it in the back panel here, which is good. The little Ford logo up there. And uh, there's that top for the convertible. That's the brace there. Prevent the uh, front windshield from collapsing in the molding process. You also got the 5.0 logo right there. Hey, and the other thing is, I think the monkeys actually drove around in one of these uh, Mustangs in the Revival concert years back in the late 80s and early 90s. But uh, that was then and this is now. Our first parts tree includes the front of the car, the front clip, the hood, the engine block right and left hand side, the cylinder head covers, our serpentine belt, and instrument panel and exhaust headers and the center console. Now there's a little notation that says this is molded in black, but of course we've got white plastic there. The engine block did fall off the side. It's got the starter motor molded in there, as well as the wonderful transmission, the five-speed transmission. Uh, there's underneath the hood. Oh, you even get the pony molded in there. So that's really cool. Can you see that? There you go. Again, there's uh, some old marks back there, but that can easily be taken out. Oh, look, on the back side it says the number and it says white on there. So, imagine, must have uh, had a few of these come out in different colors over the years. But again, really excellent work by Monogram. The nice, clean, crisp type of molding. Our next parts tree includes the seat backs, all our wheel backs, and then we've got a couple of little detail parts here our interior bucket and those little side scoops and our exhaust system. So bringing this up to the camera, again you can see the uh, molding in the side. Not too many of the door handles or whatever. There are some mold marks but I do believe the seats will cover those. There's a nice little indentation for the seats to go in as well as our center console. Floor pedals up front and then the seat in the back and then this is the area where the convertible top would fold down into on the real car. 
Again, really nicely done. You can see that Monogram is always faithful in bringing you the same easy to assemble level of quality that looks excellent. On this parts tree, we can see our chassis pan, the dashboard, our two-piece radiator, steering wheel, fan, and the seat back, or fronts actually, and our front suspension. So again, taking a look at this, wonderful work on the back there, look at that. That's what we're gonna see from up on, underneath the car. It's a uh, unibody again with the subframes. There is a monogram mark on the back of the gas tank. You can always file that off. Then we've got our nice seats. Look at that upholstery pattern on there. Would you like to sit on these seats? If so, let us know in the comment section down below. Although these are tiny, I mean on the real Mustang. There's that dashboard. It's interesting that they didn't just mold that insert panel in there. But again, it does make it easier to paint it that way. There's our Mustang pony wheel. How many people owned one of these back in 1991? Let us know in the comment section down below. Or uh, if you wanted to own one, let us know that as well. Also, let us know how it was a rolling in your 5.0. Word to your mother. Okay, so there's our convertible tops up and down. Look at that rear axle, a nice one piece molding and uh, you can just easily glue those wheels on the back. There's the little braces that go up along the trunk. So you got two long ones and one short one. Short one would go in the middle, of course. The rear parking lamp there and our rear spoiler. And then the intake part for our uh, inside of the wheel arches. So there we go. Look at the nice ribs across there. Again, you've got those mold mark circles, so they'll have to be filled in this case because they are lower. But again, your number 16 hobby blade can remove a lot of that. Overall, again, a wonderful, simplistic, but highly detailed kit from Monogram. Here we've got our wonderful chrome parts tree with our Mustang mag wheels, the five spokes mag wheels, and then our intake and our cylinder valve covers and uh, rear view mirror alternator and our license plate shroud. There's the front of the engine and that nice Mustang five liter fuel injected top. So there again, you can see the wonderful ponies on there. Excellent work. Monogram really does make a nice, clean, crisp model. So take a break. Take a monogram break. Nice and crunchy. There it is. Excellent chrome again and wonderful. Here we have all the components which make up our clear parts. There's our windshield and rear window, our headlamps and those turn signal lamps for the front. And then in the back, we've got our red tail lamps and that parking brake light. So again, really excellent detail work. I'll just bring up the tail lights. You can see the louvers on there. So that's gonna be interesting to paint it in order to make it look like the box itself. If any of you know a good way to do that, let us know in the comment section down below. I do believe these are white and the louvers are actually the red part poking through. So perhaps paint the top of this white and then scrape that off, but I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And here we have our rubber parts tree, which includes our Goodyear Eagles, and these are the directional tires. So one easy way to get this correct is that there is no writing on the back of the tire, but on the front of the tire, it is sunken in and it does say Goodyear Eagle. So you want the written part outward, or I guess the other uh, smooth side outward, but you don't want one smooth side out and one written side out. So make sure you're looking for that because that tread pattern is directional. So you don't want one tire going backwards. So again, really nicely done. You'll have to clip them off the parts tree and clean them up, put them in your spinning tool and spin down that tread. Also look for flash along the inside in here. Hey everybody, this is Danny the dog again, your pup in paradise. And uh, I was looking at the decal sheet. There's not really much here, and I'm really surprised there isn't a license plate on this. Not even a California one. Hey, I thought all the model cars came with a California plate. Seems to be a reoccurring feature. Anyway, what we have here is we've got all the underhood decals that go on, and uh, we also have this one. Now, what this is, this is an authentic 1992 um, Ford, uh, what do you call them, dealership paper. This would be in the window when you're selling your car. So it tells you how much your fuel economy is, specifications of the car and all that kind of stuff. So that's really cool. 
Trevor used to work at a car dealership and he actually has one of these in the full size from a GM car and it's blank. So that was really cool. So maybe he can uh, do a video on how to scale that down one day. But if you want to make your own license plates, check out this video up here and uh, that'll take you and show you how to do it. Thank you for watching our video all the way to the end. We really appreciate that. And as a bonus for you, I'm going to now tell you about the great Monster Hobbies model car garage. Now on that channel, you can find unboxing videos like you've seen here, as well as tips and techs and even some builds and some show and tell really cool stuff. So if you want to check out that, look at this video right here and it'll tell you all the joys about going onto that channel and checking it out as well as click this link down here if you want to just get there and look for yourself as well as subscribe. So until next time everyone, have fun with your model kit and we'll see you in the next video.